So this is my boring life. Welcome. So here we go. All right, so we have f of x equals x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 8x minus 16 plus 6. So what I'd like to do is show you how to apply Descartes' rule of signs to determine the number, uh, the possible number of positive and negative real zeros. So the first thing um, I think is always easiest is to look, take a look at the possible positive. So in doing that, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at um, the sign of our coefficients of each one of our monomials. Since this is just x to the fourth, we know that's going to be a positive. Now, what I like to do is I like to bring down the signs so I can see their alterate, um, how they alternate a little bit more clearly. So I just take the sign of these coefficients out there. And what you can see, again, is there's an, an alternation between positive and negative and then negative to positive. So therefore, we change signs twice. So for the number of positive real zeros, we have a possibility of two positive real zeros or zero real zeros. And again, the reason why we go from two or zero is because we always take the number of possible real zeros and then subtract an even number. Now to determine the negative, what we're going to do is now, rather than applying f of x, we're now going to evaluate for f of negative x. So we, apply, so we plug in a negative x into our function of of f of x. And there's a lot of x's here. So now what we do is we just evaluate. So when we take a negative number, raise it to an even power, that's still going to be a positive x to the fourth. Negative x cubed become negative. Negative times 6 would become a negative 6 x cubed. Negative x squared is positive. Um, 8 times x positive 8 squared is positive 8 x squared. This becomes a positive 16x plus 16. So now you can see, again, we will bring down the signs. So by bringing down the signs, I know this is positive to negative to positive to positive to positive. So then, again, there's two alternating signs again. So the number now of negative real zeros is going to be 2 negative real zeros or 0 negative real zeros. And that's how you do, ladies and gentlemen, to use applied Descartes' rule of science to determine the number of positive and negative real zeros. Thanks. Oh, three minutes. You guys get that one done yet? Okay.